Hi guys, hi. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing okay. Keeping safe. I hope you're still skating. <laughs> so today is dance challenge uh, number three, class number three. And it is the New York Shuffle. Okay, now this is the most important dance uh, step you're ever gonna learn. It's super versatile, it has loads of different options. Okay, and we're gonna learn just the basic one today. Okay? And again, there's gonna be three different versions um, for easy, medium, and hard, okay? Don't forget the hashtag, Skate Fresh Dance Challenge, and uh, tag me on Skate Fresh Asha, and I will try and share as many of your practice videos as I can, okay? It's really important that we feel that we're not doing this all on our own, okay? So, the New York Shuffle, let me show it to you first, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's the hardest version. The easier version is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it doesn't actually look that different, yeah? There's crossing of feet or not crossing of feet. It's really important that you do the version best for you, which means you can do it, you can keep in time, you can go back and forth several times without losing it, okay? In time, your body will naturally start doing the next version. Okay, so let's get going. Um, it's really important with the New York Shuffle that at each end, this end and this end, that you finish with um, the outside skate pointing absolutely straight ahead. So that means this foot pointing straight ahead. It's on the outside of the maneuver. This is the inside. So you don't want it to be turned out at all. And in this direction, you don't want it to be turned out. Otherwise, you won't stop, okay? So really make sure that that's step number one, step number five is directly straight ahead. Okay, so let's go with the first one. So you always start with the leg that's on the inside, yeah? That's the direction you're gonna go. In this case, it's the right skate. And you are going to invert that foot uh, 45 degrees in, yeah? So from parallel, you just bring your toe in to touch the other one, okay? Now, bend your knees as normal. So invert, and then just do a little push and bring the other foot together. You only need to roll a meter or less, okay? So again, feet parallel. Invert the inside foot, the right foot, invert, and just push off and roll. Okay, and you bring your two feet next to each other. Okay, so that's the first two steps. One, two. Okay, and again, let's do that several times. Seven, eight, one, two. Yeah, good. And again, the faster you go, the more difficult it makes this move. So you could do this in half the space, and you could go one, two. Absolutely fine, all right? Let's do three and four. So you've done one and two, and you're going diagonally backwards, right? You're now gonna open the leading skate, and you're gonna open it exactly 90 degrees in this position, heels very close together. And you're gonna go diagonally in the other direction. So you're gonna go diagonally backwards, diagonally forwards, and you're gonna rejoin the other foot. So that's three and four. So watch how it goes together. So backwards, backwards, open, forwards, forwards. That's three and four. And then invert, just like you did on the side step, class number two, Invert until this foot is straight ahead and regroup for number six. And again, so backwards, backwards, open, forwards, forwards. Invert so that this foot is straight ahead and stop, okay? So, and again, five, six, seven, eight. Backwards, backwards, forwards, forwards, invert, stop. Seven, eight, we'll deal with that in a minute. Backwards, backwards, forwards, forwards, invert, stop. Really make sure you bend the outside leg because that's the only way you're going to stop with that inversion, okay? That's the easy uh, version. The slightly more difficult version is going to be scissors in the middle, right? So you're gonna still start with the same leg, the right foot, backwards scissor, then forward scissor, then invert stop, seven, eight, backwards scissor, forward scissor, invert stop, yeah? And again, five, six, seven, eight. Backward scissor, forward scissor, invert stop, clap, clap. Backward scissor, forward scissor, invert stop, clap, clap. Okay, the seven and eight, I'm actually gonna be giving you several options in this class and you can pick which one you want or invent your own, okay? So in the scissor position, your weight is always on the trailing leg. So going backwards, your weight's gonna be on the left leg going forwards, your weight's gonna be on the right. Uh, excuse me, uh -huh. trailing leg, trailing leg here, and guess what, same trailing leg, yeah? 
Whether you're going forwards or backwards, the trailing leg is always the trailing leg. Yeah? So, let's do the more advanced version. Now, the more advanced version has two options. First of all, you start crossing on the backwards. So, one crossover, two, and then forward scissor. Yeah? Again, one crossover, forward scissor, invert, stop, bump, bump. Backwards cross, forward scissor, invert, stop, bump, bump. Backwards cross, forward scissor, invert, stop. Okay, so that's the first advanced version. The more difficult is to cross under behind on the forwards, and that is tricky, and it needs a really good knee bend. So I'll show it to you in slow motion. Backwards cross, 90 degree transition, and then backwards under cross, step, and kick, yeah? Uh, and again, backwards cross, forwards cross behind, invert step, seven, eight. Backwards cross, forwards behind, invert step, bump, bump. Backwards cross, forwards behind, invert step, bump, bump. Now, your seven and eight, you could be doing toe, you could be doing toe things, you could be doing arm things, you could be doing butt things. Whatever you like, make up your own, yeah? I've seen people with doing all kinds of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, yeah? You do whichever you think feels good. A clap is the easiest because it allows your feet to stay still and you just regroup at the end, okay? Let's do a few sets now, whichever method you're doing. Yeah, and we're just gonna do them continuously, okay? So five, I'll start with the beginner, then I'll go to the more difficult one and then to the more advanced ones. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Backwards, forwards, invert step, clap, clap. And again, backwards, scissor, forwards, scissor, invert step. Backwards, forwards, invert step. And crossing, crossing, behind, Invert step, forwards cross, cross, invert step. Okay, now as I said, really don't get hung up trying to cross. If you start crossing and it all goes crabby, then just go back to the previous method. Yeah, it's really much better to do the one that allows you to just keep the flow. Okay, because when you have a group of people all doing these kind of dance steps, it really doesn't, no one will notice if. You know, some people are crossing and some people aren't. As long as you're all in time to the music, it looks great, okay? So don't get frustrated, all right? One little tip if you're on the advanced method, okay? And the cross is usually easy for most people. It's the cross under behind, and you really need to sink down so that you can then release that front foot. So you sink down. And what you could do is just do that move in isolation in a straight line. Step forward, cross behind. Yeah, and again, step forward, cross behind. So this is a really good little step forwards, cross behind. That wasn't very cross. Step forward, cross behind. Yeah, and also if it's a scissor, you might not even notice it's not crossed. Forward, doesn't that look kind of similar? I'm not crossing. Yeah? So the scissor is a really good disguise of the cross, okay? So enjoy that, I hope that works. And uh, next lesson we'll begin with a recap of moves one, two, and three. All right. If you haven't done those yet, check them out in the previous list and join us for the next class. See you soon. Please tag Skate Fresh. Sorry, hashtag Skate Fresh Dance Challenge. <laughs> I'll write it down for you. Bye. Look after yourselves. Stay well. Keep skating. Yeah. We'll get through this. Lots of love. Bye.